An airdrop attack at a local school. Someone sends a chilling picture to students, triggering a full-fledged lockdown. It's a new kind of cyber terrorism that we've seen before. Back in July, an entire flight leaving Atlanta had to evacuate after some passengers got this threat airdropped into their phones. The message warning of an imminent hijacking. And tonight, investigators are working to find out who sent the picture showing someone in the school with a gun. CBS 46 is Zach Summers live in Stockbridge and Zach. It was a stressful day for students and terrifying. Yeah, certainly, Sean. Just think your child's at school, maybe sitting in class when all at once uh, everyone starts receiving the same photo of what appears to be a threat on their phone. This picture in particular prompting quite the response from law enforcement here in Henry County earlier today. It's crazy. Cameron Wilson was grabbing lunch in the cafeteria at Woodland High Wednesday when the school suddenly went on hard lockdown. I saw everybody getting up and scattering like like there are people running, teachers running, there's cops coming out of the office. And the I senior didn't up. notice right away, but he also received a photo on his iPhone. At first, obviously, it was shocking. Like It was like, you know, like scary almost, but then you're just slowly getting mad. You're like, why would somebody do this? Like, Someone airdropped several people inside the school. This picture showing a person with a blurred face holding a black handgun inside a restroom. Also on the picture, today's date, the words Judgment Day, bang and two bang emojis. There is a hand on the photo, could be a black or uh, white uh, student, don't really know, uh, but it caused a response to the school and a, a, a concern. Officers searched the school out of an abundance of caution, but didn't find anything. I'm guessing right whenever lunch, the second lunch wave started, the guy did it so that there were so many people in one room because airdrop, you got to be within a vicinity of somebody. So. Wilson's mom praised the district for reacting quickly, but she says she would like to see more security, given this is the second time this month the campus has been forced into lockdown over gun concerns. Our problem is it shouldn't got to this. Now, now, nearby Woodland Middle and Elementary Schools were put on a soft lockdown during all of this. The Henry County Sheriff's Office working to learn all of the students who were airdropped this photo in hopes of catching the person who sent it. Live in Stockbridge, Zach Summers, CBS 46 News.